Scene 18, nighttime, countryside, sound of frogs and insects in the dark for one full minute, footsteps on grass, gravel near the tracks, mumbling voices and overheard conversation. Peasant woman, she's dead. Peasant man, she's still bleeding, though. Peasant woman, is she wearing any jewelry? Peasant man, uh, I don't see any. Just take her clothes. Woman, all right, don't just stand there, help me. Sounds of undressing. Woman. Watch her head, man. What difference does it make if she's dead? Woman, you'll rip her dress, stupid. Unbutton it first. Boots on gravel approach them. Light from a lantern illuminates Guinea lying in a pool of blood. Signal, man. Good evening. Peasant woman. Good evening. Signal, man. What's going on here? Woman. Nothing. She's dead. I'll wash her dress and give it to my niece. Shoes, too. Guinea stirs, the tiniest movement in Mon. Signal man. Looks like she's not dead, after all. Peasant woman. Well, maybe she's dying. If not, we'll turn her into the police and get a pound of sugar. Peasant man. You got sugar for the last one. This time I'll get whiskey. Woman. You like cake, don't you? Cookies? Man. We'll get whiskey. End of conversation. Signal man. I'll take her in. Beat. Peasant man, that's all right, you don't have to. Signal man, actually I do. Company property, under jurisdiction of the railway department. If someone lands on the tracks, I have to write it up. Woman, maybe just this once you could bend the rules a little. Signal man, I will take custody of the girl. They eye him suspiciously, remove Guinea's shoes. Peasant woman, you have to turn in Jews, you know, it's the law. Signal man, yes, I know what to do with her. Peasant man, yeah? I'll bet you do, laughs perversely. Enjoy yourself. They pick up Guinea's clothing, plus the pile they were holding and exit. Signal man waits, watches until they're gone, stoops to Guinea. Signal man, are you all right? Guinea moans. He picks her up, carries her to his small signal booth, lays her down, covers her with an old blanket. Stay here. I'll be back soon. He takes his lantern and runs off, boots on gravel, grass. In the darkness, sounds of the countryside at night, insects, frogs, rustling of leaves for one full minute. Light from the lantern, boots on gravel, on grass, gravel. Signal man pours steaming soup from a thermos into a tin cup, lifts Guinea's head. Signal man, here, some nice warm broth. She sips. He patiently feeds her the whole cup, holds bread for her to bite. In between bites, he pulls the dress out of a bag, slips it over her head, guides her arms through the sleeves, pulls the sweater on, too, all of them too big on her. I have a daughter around your age, a bit taller. There we go, much better. He wraps her up in the blanket. Tea with sugar. He pours hot tea into the tin cup. She takes it and drinks. Good girl. Drink it all up. That's right. Very good. More? She nods yes. He watches her slurp and smiles. She lies down and falls asleep. He covers her with the blanket, searches and finds a book to put under her head like a pillow. He watches her. He stares out into the night, up at the stars for a full minute. It's so peaceful, he says. He sings a lullaby, Kotka Dva, which is about two little kittens. Um, all children, even the bad ones, are already asleep. Only you are not. There were once two little kittens, two little kittens, blah, blah, blah. Until his voice breaks. He wipes away tears. A few beats. Night turns to dawn. Birds begin to chirp. Guinea, please, I want to go home. Where is your home? Tarnopol. Oh, that's a long, long way from here. I don't care. I want to go home. He stands, grabs the rest of the bread, an apple, cheese, puts it in a sack. I'm sorry, you have to leave now because I'll get in trouble. He helps her rise to unsteady feet. Blood has soaked the left hip of his daughter's dress. Guinea's fingers bleed, too. He hands her the sack. Take this. Follow the tracks back. She nods, takes his hand, shakes it, holds it, stares into his eyes, turns, and limps away into... Scene 19. The ground is dark, but screens brighten with fields of wheat undulating in the wind. Wild poppies, cornflowers, and pines sway as Guinea sloughs through them, silhouetted by the sun. Birds chirp and glide in an azure sky. 
Genia trips over something. Lights rise to reveal a corpse. Many corpses scattered on the ground, some as they landed, twisted, distorted. She freezes. A woman in the field calls to her little boy on the opposite side of the tracks. Peasant woman, too. Piotr! Beat. Piotr! Come over here. Boy. I can't, Mama. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm afraid. I don't want to cross. There are dead people. Look at that girl. She's not afraid. Come on, Piotrush. Time for dinner. Come home. The last word echoes. Ginya watches the boy hopscotch over corpses to his mother, making it a game. He look, she looks at the audience, dirty, with ratty hair. She bleeds from her left hip, fingers, and skull. She looks down, falls to her knees. She digs like a mole and pulls out a lone carrot. Lights fade on stage and screen to sounds of her ravenous eating. Scene 20. A farm, a barn, a dog barks, a horse neighs, crows caw, chickens squawk, cows moo, pigs grunt, lambs bleat, bells tinkle around their necks. Genia drags onto the property. A woman sees her, points to the barn. Farm woman, emphatic whisper, go to the barn. Genia limps to the barn, peers around the corner, ducks back in, waits, beat, beat, beat. The farm woman walks briskly, glancing left and right, brings Guinea food. Guinea drinks steaming tea. There's an old man in the village looking for a wife. Guinea. Farm woman, he needs a girl like you. Guinea, no thank you. Farm woman, don't speak so fast. Use your head. It'll be nice, very nice for you there. You'll be the lady of the house and have cows, pigs, chickens. You'll be very comfortable. No, no, I can't. I have to... I have to go home. My my grandmother is waiting for me. She's old. She needs my help. I'll bring him here. No, no, thank you. That's all right. I can't. I, I, I have to go home. Just wait here. I'll bring him to you. She dashes off. Guinea makes a bed with straw, falls asleep before eating. Sounds of the farm, all the animals and birds for a full minute. Farm woman returns with old men. He walks with a stick Bent at 45 degrees, she shakes Guinea awake. Farm woman, here we are, there, you see? Isn't she nice? The bald old man's face crinkles into a toothless grin. He nods. Guinea whispers, oh my God. Farm woman, mm-hmm, I told you so. Mm-hmm, he likes you. Guinea, I, I, I can't, I can't stay here. I have to help my grandmother. She's old, like him. Farm woman pulls Guinea close, speaks in her ear. Look at yourself. You're not exactly in a position to turn up your nose at him. A lot of girls would snatch this opportunity. You'll live in luxury. You'll have your own pigs and chickens, a nice wood stove to cook on. Guinea, but he touched me. I'd rather die. Farm woman, you're making a big mistake. She grabs the old man's arm, turns back to Guinea. You'll leave in the morning. Squawks, moos, neighs, bleats, grunts, caws, bells grow in volume as lights dim. Nighttime. Dark purple sky full of stars, the moon on screen, crickets, frogs, owls, rustling of mice in straw. Pastoral peace. Scene 21. Dawn. Dark purple sky turns pink on the horizon, stars and moon fade. Roosters crow, birds chirp, animals awaken. Barely detectable footsteps first on hay. Dirt, stones, grass, dirt, grass, stones, grass, etc. As Genia walks. Terrain changes underfoot and on screen. Next to train tracks, through tall grasses, dirt paths. Sky changes from daybreak, midday, twilight, night. Cirrus clouds float past the moon. She walks through the day for three solid minutes. A graveyard manifests. Guinea speaking to tombstones. I used to be afraid of you, you know. A gentle breeze responds. But you're dead. You can't hurt me. Only the living can. She lies down, head and body between two stones. It begins to rain. Ghosts. An old peasant woman. A husky middle-aged farmer. A little boy. Rise from a few graves. To see the young living girl, they draw close, watch her sleep, envy her breathing. When two ghosts approach from above, these three skitter beneath the earth back into their graves. 
Mama lies atop Guinea like a blanket. Tato stands watch. He lights a pipe. Its smoke mingles with his effervescence. Sound of Guinea's breathing, soft rain and thunder, very slow dim to black. By the way, this is Windows by Melissa.